Google Meet attendance. In this video, you will learn how to take attendance in Google Meet. So first of all, we need a Chrome extension. You open a new window and in Google, you just type web store and press enter and click on this Chrome web store. And in the search bar, you type meet attendance, press enter. And this is the Chrome extension, which we want to install meet attendance because I have already installed it here as you can see. So therefore I don't see add to Chrome button, but you will see add to Chrome button here. You click on that button. It will ask for some permission and then it will be installed. And now once I have installed this Chrome extension meet attendance, now I can start my meeting. If you have a G Suite account, the best practice is that you give your meeting a nickname and the benefit would be that students won't be able to join the meeting before you have joined the meeting. Then again, the best practice is that first you make sure that you have removed all the students from the meeting before leaving the meeting. And once you have left the meeting, they won't be able to join it once again. So make sure that you are always available in the meeting. But today I'm going to start an instant meeting. So I click on new meeting and then I click on start an instant meeting. And now I click on join now. And now I want to add one of my own accounts. So now I'm adding one of my own accounts. Now for the simplicity, I have turned off uh, my camera. As you can see that my voice is showing, but my camera is off on both accounts and we don't need this for taking attendance. Now to use this uh, Chrome extension, meet attendance, you hover your cursor in between the chat and this tick mark, and you will see some more controls here on the left hand side. This is new spreadsheet. If you click here, a new spreadsheet will be created. And when you click here, you click here when you are taking attendance for your class first time. For example, you are teaching mathematics three times a week. So first time you click on this, you start a new spreadsheet. When you come on next day, you add a sheet. When you add a sheet, the sheet will be added in the same file stored on your Google Drive. I am going to show you in a minute, but this is very important to understand what is new sheet and what is add sheet. Then you can turn on and off uh, this extension by, by clicking on this switch. Then this subscribe is if you want to upgrade to pro version of meet attendance. It also has a pro version and there are few features. For example, you can compare who is absent from your class or these kind of things. And then on the right hand side, you see this camera sign, which is snapshot. And this is the most interesting and important feature in this Chrome extension. And this allows you to take attendance multiple times during a class. Then there are more options. And in this option, there are three switches. The third switch should be always on because it is the most important activity. It will note the joining or leaving time of the meet attendees. Now these two are up to your choice, whether you want a new sheet for every meet or you want a new sheet daily for the same meet. I have turned this off because I want to create a new sheet by using this button. So I click on that and it will be highlighted for small time. And now if I click on this tick, it will take me to the newly created spreadsheet. Now this is the new sheet. And as you can see that it shows both the meeting attendees and also the time when they joined the meeting. And this left time is the current time because we have not left the meeting. We both are inside the meeting. So it shows the current time and also the duration, which is the difference of these two. Now, if I open a new tab and I type sheets.google.com, I can see this newly created sheet in my Google Sheets and it has a date which is also the name of this sheet, as you can see here. And I can change this name to my class name, for example, math class. And now this name has changed and I will keep this open to show you something. Now, if I click on this tick sign again, it opens this sheet in a new tab. This is the same file and this is the same attendance. So make sure that you don't unnecessarily click on this uh, tick sign. Otherwise it will be opening new tabs and there will be a lot of tabs. We don't want this. We only want this file to be open just once. 
So, I can close this now. I just wanted to show you this thing that you do not click on this tick unnecessarily. Now, as I mentioned that the interesting part is taking a snapshot and now as, let us assume that I am in the middle of my lecture and I want to see who is still present in my class. So, what I do is I click on the snapshot and now if I click on my file as you can see that a new time stamp appeared here. This is the new time stamp and at this time stamp still I can see that both attendees are present. Now, I will log off from one of my accounts on my mobile phone. Now, I have logged off from one of my account and now there is only one person in the meeting and let us take the snapshot once again. So, if I click on this snapshot and now I can see that another timestamp has been created and at this time only one person is present in the meeting. So, this is a good way to take attendance two or three times during an online session. Now, this is attendance sheet for your math class. Now, at the bottom you can see that this is the sheet name. If I click on this little arrow, I can rename this to my today's date and today is 10th of September. I can rename this sheet and now let us say that next time I want to create a new sheet for the same uh, group of people. To do that I click on add sheet and if I click on add sheet and now I look at my file as you can see that a new sheet has been created and if I click on this sheet it will show me one attendee. So, you can now change this to 11th of September for example. So, this is the way you should be using add sheet because this sheet will be added to the same document. So, this is the difference between new sheet and add sheet. So, this is the way you can organize all your sessions for one particular subject class in the same document. So, this is how you can take attendance in Google Meet and how this Chrome extension Meet Attendance works. Now, at the end of this video, for example, few of your students do not attend the class, do not attend your collaborative activity session. So, the best activity you can impose upon those students is that you must create some questions related to the topic which you have taught in that class. You create some questions and then ask those students to answer those questions and submit their answers in a Google document. So, in this way they will have to watch the video, watch the session again or do the activity again and then answer your questions. So, you will soon realize that all of your students are present in the class. So, I hope you like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.